So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make some weights out of cement. Very easy, very straightforward. The quickest, this is going to be the best video you ever watched. The best, easiest video. Out of all the tutorials, this one is going to be the best one, I promise you. So make sure you watch. Right now, it's impossible to buy fucking weights online. You look online, 20 kilos is like fucking 100 quid. Ridiculous amount. This is going to be very easy, very straightforward. It's the most basic creation I've done out of the whole entire lot, if I'm honest with you. It takes me about 10 minutes to do, and it's cheap. You can make literally 20 kilos in weight for about £10, which is way much cheaper than what it is on the market right now. Everyone's just fucking selling at ridiculous prices. If you enjoy this type of video, let us know in the comments down below. If there's any other creations which you think I should do, then please put them down below. I've seen people ask me make a leg extension, or leg, not leg extension, leg press. Fuck it, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'm willing to try, see if I can make something creative within the stint. But this one is the, the very basic, the very bread and butter of it. Don't need a lot of money, just basic stuff, materials, which I'll go through in, in, in this video today, just to show. I wanna make it as simple as I can, because what I've seen on other people doing this type of stuff on YouTube is they'll just do like some shitty music in the background and just time lapse kind of what they are doing they're not actually explaining in the video kind of the process each stage if that makes sense and some people like that works for some people but for me I need a breakdown of right this is stage one this is stage two this is stage three instead of just a time lapse where I'm having to go back and think fuck what did you do there what did you do there I missed that bit so this is going to be a little bit of a breakdown for you guys to uh, demonstrate exactly how I've done it it's really really straightforward really straightforward but I hope it, I hope it helps um, and if there's any questions of course just let us fucking norm it what you're gonna need to make your set of dumbbells you need some ballast to mix with the cement get that from Wix B&M you need a shovel or whatever you need to mix it with gonna have the scale so we can weigh how much these dumbbells are gonna be after they've dried I've also got like a this is like a, a fencing tub you can get like a paint tub or you can get something like quality street something like that and that's where we're going to put the cement in to obviously dry overnight because cement does take time to dry we've got some one inch tube which pretty much attaches sort of like that this is pretty much where you can get it from so this is like a waste pipe from wix two meter pipe and it's about an inch in uh, width whatever you want to call it and of course we have got the wheelbarrow if that focuses wheelbarrow so we can mix the uh, cement and everything together pretty straightforward setup first step we're going to put We'll combine three scoops of the ballast, so the ratio of one scoop of cement, and we're going to put it in there. Then we're going to weigh it to see how much it weighs, because I don't know how much we're going to do in terms of dumbbell weight. I'm thinking maybe, we might use an example, five kilos or so. So one of these bad boys, try and do this one-handed, in there. Second one. Next step. We're gonna mix it with that. So mix it like you would mix it with a, uh, a cake, for example. Right, so we have five kilos. Now, if you want to do more weight, just add more of what I've mentioned before. Just keep adding it, keep adding it. More cement, more of the ball what is it called? Ball ballast. Ballast, more of the ballast. So keep adding that, like a three to one ratio and then weigh it, and if you want to do 20 kilos, do 20, if you want to do 25, you want to do 40, weigh out 40 ground, 40 kilos for example. I'm next going to put some water in, in the middle, almost like a uh, little volcano, and then we're going to mix it. I oh, this is terrible as well. So once you've got it pretty much to a consistency, almost like that, looks like cow shit, you want to then pour this into here. Now what I've done is I've actually got the little tube, I'm going to dot that right in the middle here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cement in and around that tube. a little bit of, um, what would you call it? Tamping. Tamping. So we're not gonna, we're making it nice and smooth so there's no holes in it because you don't necessarily want any holes in your dumbbell. Pretty much like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that to dry for about 24 hours. Unfortunately it does take time for cement to dry but that 
is stage one of it done. And pretty much all you need to do is replicate what I've just done. Quite straightforward. Um, and you have a dumbbell. Fantastic. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Right, so next day, you've got to leave it for 24 hours or so. We're going to see what it looks like in the bucket as we left it yesterday. So, can I do this one-handed? That is the question. There we have it. Your weight, that's about five kilos, just over five kilos of weight there. Um, now, of course, you can make that into a dumbbell if you really want, but what we are going to do uh, is we're going to chop off this bit and we're just going to use it. This is the weight so I can add it to my my barbell and also my, as I mentioned, my, my weights that I've got here because I do have the weights, but I do need extra weight. So you can have them as dumbbells. We can create that into a dumbbell or you can cut it off, which I am going to do, and I'm going to add it to my barbells. Boom. Bang that bit through there. There you have it. A weight. And this is what it comes out like. It's actually pretty heavy that. Like holding that in my hand now, I would struggle. About five kilos. The only bad thing about it is just make sure you don't drop these bang directly on the floor because obviously it's concrete, it can break. So you're gonna have to be very delicate with these. Obviously this bit here is only one inch because my bar at the moment is, is one inch. But if you have like a, a bigger Olympic bar, obviously you're gonna have to make this bit slightly bigger for it to be able to sit on the bar. So I reckon about that wide, which is about what, two inches or so, something like that. It could be two inches, those Olympic bars, you'll have to measure it. But that there is an additional five kilos added to my weight stack. And of course I've done one, let me show you. This one is just ready to, to pull out. I've left this for about 24 hours. Um, I can't even pull that out with one hand, but that will come out. And all I need to do is just chop off this bit here. And there we go, we have another five kilo plate. And there we pretty much have it. The only bad side or the downside to this, they're pretty girthy, they're pretty dense. Like that's five kilos each, pretty lengthy um, compared to my other five kilos, which I've got. But it's better than nothing. And obviously you can just do your curls with it. You do your shoulder pressing. You do your lateral raises. You do your rows. There's a lot of things you do. Kickbacks, tricep kickbacks. Yeah, that's a demonstration of what it looks like on a uh, on a dumbbell. Pretty good. Sturdy. You just need to be very, very careful when you put it down on the floor because, like I said, you can break it a little bit. If you slam it down, it will break in half. Go try it on the barbell now, see what it looks like. So this time with the barbell, does its job, can do some rows, right, obviously bench pressing, which I ain't gonna do, can do some overhead presses, can do loads with it, see what bro, you really want to. Deadlifts, well, sort of, RDLs, front raises, pretty sturdy. That's an additional 10 kilos, and it somehow does the job looking like that. You can do some bicep curls with it, forgot about that. Overhead presses, French presses. That is that, simple as that. Last little thing to remember is if you have a bigger bucket, something like a, like a bucket is normally quite big, you could probably make it obviously wider, which means you can feel more cement in there, which is obviously gonna mean it's, it's gonna be heavier. Today's video was just a demonstration because I know people in the comments are gonna be like, you could do it this way, you could do it that way. Listen, it's just an example. I will probably not even use them much. I just made it for a video purpose. But like I said, with a bigger bucket, you can probably put more, they're obviously gonna be wider, like a 20 kilo plate in general is, is bigger than a five kilo plate, for example. So you can have more weight on there. So you can go up to anywhere from like five kilos to, to 20 kilos. And it's pretty straightforward. I'll put all about the links like down below, even with the cement, you, know, you can get like quick, yeah, cement, you can get quick set in cement, I think something like that. You don't have to get the 24 hour one. You can get like one for fencing, which, you know, will dry in a couple of hours time. You don't have to, you know, it's a little bit expensive, a little, a little extra you have to pay, but it's not much, much of a difference. But that is generally how you do it. It's, it's very straightforward. It's not complicated at all. And you just, yeah, that's all I have to say, really. That's all really I have to say. We just hit 20,000 subscribers as well, which is really, really cool. So thank you for everyone that has liked my videos, watched my videos over the years, especially back in the uh, student days. It means, uh, it means a lot to me. Like I said, if there's anything you want to see, then please ensure that you let me know during this lockdown period. And of course, I want to help as, as many people as I possibly can because I want us to stay safe. I want us to still train and not feel sorry for ourselves. And I really 
really believe that you can make progress within this stint, 100%. It's just whether you want it or not. Hopefully with this idea, you can do something. And in my opinion, something is better than nothing in most cases. Lots of love, I hope all is okay. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.